the brain are just computers, ultimately. It is connected to a body, and so there are these sensations. But it doesn't seem impossible that a silicon-based life form or whatever it is it senses, it has access to the environment, it, it exists, it thinks. I don't see any fundamental difference between an intelligence in a quantum computer or whatever it is and this intelligence here. I know that many researchers in this area do say, they call it a brain in a jar, don't they, and say it needs to be connected to all this. This is part of our intelligence, and that's surely true as well. Sure. It's not obvious to me that a different kind of intelligence in a different structure, running on a computer or whatever it is, would necessarily have different motivations to us. I mean, you could equally well argue that these motivations to survive and curiosity uh, and th those ideas, the desire to explore, you could argue those are fundamental properties of intelligence and not of biology.